Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Wednesday, May 30th, and we just got one economic news release today. And uh, so jump right into it. It's basically the pending home sales for April. So back in March, we it went up 4.1%, and there's no forecast, so it came in at negative 5.5%. So kind of disappointing news uh, for pending home sales for April. Uh, hopefully we'll kind of see if that's a trend or if that's going on. So next month, let's kind of keep our eyes open to see uh, if that continues or if we if we see improvement again. So next, uh, we'll go to the headline news right now. And that's kind of affecting the market. So the market's down a bit. Uh, but the other item that's kind of affecting the market is, well, you probably have guessed it, Europe. So uh, Italian and Spanish bond yields jumped up quite a bit. So... Uh, what that means is that the cost of the government to be able to borrow money from uh, from their bonds is going up, and it may get to the point where, like, where Greece and everybody else is for these, uh, 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 that have been receiving a. I mean, the cost of going up so much that basically it gets to a point where they may not, they need a bailout because it's exceeding what they can actually pay out. And usually when it gets about 6 7%, it's basically red flags uh, because it may not be sustainable for them. And it's just basically inevitable they're going to be needing a bailout. So there is concern that, of course, you know, Spain might be exiting at some point and from the euro, of course, Greece, because that could just start a uh, trend uh, for other countries to do the same thing, uh, as we've had bailouts for Portugal and Ireland and Spain already. So uh, those will be kind of watched. Investors are watching those very closely. So if one of them, they're very jittery now. So even if there's a little uh, smack of uh, fear, they're going to overreact. So be, care- uh, so be cautious. Now we're just going to jump over the bond market, see what the interest rates are doing. We had a huge jump actually because the bond, like I said, the stock market was down, so we actually jumped up about 27 basis points, and right now we're about 104.63, so we're up above there. I don't know if it's going to sustain that or it might be a mile, but we are testing the ceiling right here by being in these levels, and maybe the job support might be the one to bring it over. But at some point, we do have to close that gap to sustain itself. Uh, or we may be up here for a couple of days and come back down. So right now, interest rates are much better, much improved uh, from that where we were yesterday. As you saw, we actually went down yesterday. So we jumped up quite a bit. All right, folks, you guys. Ha- so basically where we're at right now, we left uh, close at one, 104.28 and we're up at 104.63. So, uh, so we had definitely had some improvement in interest rates. All right, folks, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Again, we got the big jobs report on Friday. Uh, ADP will be coming out tomorrow with the weekly jobless claims as well. Uh, It'll be coming out tomorrow. Uh, But the big number will be the uh, government's reporting of the uh, jobs reports on Friday. So you guys have a wonderful day. Stop by Mike's DailyMarketReport.com and subscribe. Have your daily reports emailed to you. Have a wonderful day.